video we're going to look at standard form and multiplication, so multiplying numbers that are in standard form together. Okay, so for instance, if you had 2 times 10 to the 5, and you multiply that by 3 times 10 to the 4, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the two numbers at the front, the 3 and the 2 together, and then you're going to multiply the 10 uh, to the power of 5 by the 10 to the power of 4, so you add the powers for that. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and then times... You're going to do 10 to the 5 times 10 to the 4. So if you 10 to the 5 and you times it by 10 to the 4, you would add the parts, and that would be 10 to the 9. So this answer would be, if you're going to multiply these together, you would get 6 times 10 to the power of 9. This time we're going to do 3 times 10 to the 3 times 5 times 10 to the 8. So if you want to multiply these, remember you multiply the numbers at the front together first of all. So you're going to do 3 times 5, which is 15. And then you're going to do 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 8. So you're going to add the powers and you're going to get times 10 to the power of 11. Now unfortunately if you look at this, you've got 15 times 10 to the 11. Now this number here isn't between 1 and 10. So we've got to make it between 1 and 10. So remember if you want to make this between 1 and 10, you're going to divide it by 10. So you're going to divide this number by 10 to get 1.5. But you're going to have to times this one. If you divide this one by 10, you're going to have to times this one by 10. So you're going to increase the power by 1. So it'd be uh, times 10 to the 12. So if you multiply these together, you're going to get 1.5 uh, times 10 to the 12. Now let's have a look at some typical exam questions. So we've got 6 times 10 to the 8 multiplied by 4 times 10 to the 7. So again, you're going to multiply the 6 and the 4 together. So 6 times 4 is 24 times, and you add the power, so it's going to be 10 to the power of 8 plus 7 is 15. So you've got 24 times 10 to the 15. Unfortunately, this number here isn't in standard form, so we need to make this number between 1 and 10. So we're going to use 2.4. So you make this one 10 times smaller, and you're going to make this one 10 times bigger, so that will be times 10 to the 16. Okay, this time we're going to do 2 times 10 to the 7, multiplied by 8 times 10 to the minus 12. So again, 2 times 8 then would be 16, multiplying the numbers at the front. Then you're going to times that by 10 to the power off. You've got 7 add minus 12. 7 add minus 12 would be minus 5. Okay, you're adding the powers in 7 plus minus 12. Remember, plus and minus 12 is the same as taking away 12. 7 take away 12 would be uh, minus 5. So, this isn't in standard form because it's, it's uh, 16 and it needs to be between 1 and 10, the number at the front. So we're going to do 1.6 times 10. Remember, you've made this one 10 times smaller, so you need to make this 10 times bigger. So that means you're going to increase the power by 1. Now, the power is minus 5. If you add 1 to that, it means you're going to go back up towards 0. So it's going to be to the minus 4. So your answer would be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, this time we're going to do one and we're going to use a calculator to do it. Okay, so we've got um, 5.2 times 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by 2.8 times 10 to the minus 9. So, get your scientific calculator and notice that the standard form button is down here. Okay, so we had to do this. Now I'm actually going to do a similar, to, a similar way to what the question has. Okay, the question has got... Um, so I'm just going to write it here. We've got 5.2 times 10 to the minus 7 multiplied by 2.8 times 10 to the minus 9. Okay, so if you wanted to do that sum, give yourself to have a calculator like so, and let's type it in. So we're going to do, uh, let's do it in brackets, 5.2, that button, okay, times 10 to the power of minus 7, close brackets, times uh, 2, uh, open brackets, 2.8, the standard form button to the power of negative 9 close brackets so this way I'm pressing the negative button here then press equals and then it gives you your answer which would be 1.456 times 10 to the negative 15 so you can just write down your display 1.456 times 10 to the negative 15 okay, and our last question uh, is actually a question which is to do with speed distance and time uh, Cyrus is the brightest star in the night sky the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. Um, so in standard form, that would be 3 times 10 to the power of, it's 1, 2, because it uh, starts with a, an integer or a whole number. It has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, so 10 to the 5. Uh, light takes 2.7 times 10 to the 8 seconds to reach Earth from Sirius. How far is um, Sirius from Earth? So this is the, uh, the time taken. This is the speed. So we've got speed distance and time okay we know the speed we know the time 
and we're trying to find the distance. So you cover up the D and you're going to do speed times time. So you're going to multiply these two numbers together. So you're going to do 2.7 times 10 to the 8 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the power of 5. So you're going to need to do three uh, 2.7 times 3. So let's do that. So you've got your 2.7, so 27. Remember to do that, you just do 27 times 3. Ignore the decimal, but then you put it back in. So 27 times 3, 3 times 20 is 60. 3 times 7 is 21. Add those together, you get 81. Because there's one de uh, one digit after decimal place in the question, there's going to be one of the answers. It's going to be 8.1. So you're going to get 8.1 times 10 and you add the powers 8 plus 5 is to the power of 13 so the answer would be how far is it and that's in kilometers so that is 8.1 times 10 to the 13 kilometers